Okay, we go to the next hydraulic structure, which is known as weir. So weir is an overflow structure that has been built across an open channel to measure the rate of flow. As I mentioned earlier, there are several type of weir based on the purposes and normally there are three type of weir shape which are rectangular, trapezoidal and rectangular. Weir can be classified into various type based on the width of the crested and opening of the weir. So if you look to this table, okay, the weir has been classified into based on the width of the crest. There are two type of weir is which is broad crested weir and sharp crested weir. While on the right side is the type of weir. Okay, the next subtopic is rectangular weir. Rectangular weir can be divided into two. The first one is suppressed weir and the second one is contracted weir. The difference between these two structures, the suppressed weir have the opening span of fill width of the channel, while the contracted weir have some cross-section between in the, in the channel itself. Okay. The figure on the right shows the example of surface and contracted rectangular weir. If you can see from this figure, for the suppressed rectangular weir, the length is a full wide of the channel, while for the contracted is constricted by the contracted. So here, the equation that been used to calculate or determine the flow rate of rectangular weir. However, to determine the coefficient of discharge, there are three conditions that must be fulfilled based on Rehbock formula. The first one is if the head of flow over weir divided by height of weir is less than 5. So the first equation will be applied. Followed by if the value of H1 over P is in the range of 5 to 20. So the second equation will be applied. And the last one is H1 over P more than 20, so the third equation will be applied. So for the coefficient of the discharge will be applied in the previous equation as I shown here. Next is rectangular contracted weir. Okay. So as mentioned earlier, there are different between suppressed and contracted weir. So for contracted weir, there are constriction in the channel. So for this case, the length of the weir normally will be smaller compared to the suppress. So in this case, we have to measure or calculate the effective length, LE. So this figure shows the example of the contracted weir based on the number of contraction. On the left side, if the contracted number is n equal to 2, so that means there are two structures are being built. So the, the length will be smaller compared to n equal to 1 and n equal to 0. So this equation will be applied for contracted weir. As you can see in this equation, there are LE parameter. So LE parameter is effective length for the contracted weir. And for this equation, 
the coefficient of discharge will be calculated or measured by using Bayesian formula as stated in this slide. For the second type of wear is triangular wear. For the triangular wear, it's a little bit different compared to rectangular. For triangular, we must determine or measure the vertex angle. So the vertex angle normally located at the bottom of the wear. So by calculating the vertex angle of this wear, so we will be apply into this equation. And if you look into this equation, we have to identify the coefficient of discharge. So in this case, we assume that the coefficient of discharge equal to 0 0.58. So the third type of wear is trapezoidal wear. For trapezoidal wear, the concept is more or less the same with triangular wear, where we have to determine or calculate the vertex angle as you can see in this figure so the vertex angle is located at this both side of the trapezoidal and the value will be applied in this equation to determine or calculate the value of Q for trapezoidal wear, there is a special trapezoidal wear known as Cipollotti wear. So why this trapezoidal wear is special? There must be some different, right? So to regard the trapezoidal wear is as Cipollotti wear, specific condition must be met, which is the side slope ratio must be 1 over 4. And to determine the flow of this weir, the following equation will be applied. 